This message brought to you by Sambo and Honky. And now, by Cracker and Boy. Cracker ass, cracker! My suitcase was vibrating. Nine times out of ten, it's an electric razor, but every once in a while, it's a dildo. Okay, let's look at that again. Here the trailer is jacked up by the frame. So this is the same situation as if you had all four wheels in the air. And you can see the shackles are in the correct position. The shackles are the pointy uppy things in the middle. And when you put load on the wheels, then the shackles rotate toward the, the center uh, where the support is. And everything is stable because there is no motion happening. Uh, but you'll see what happens when my foot comes in and just barely bumps the uh, hub on the right. And now in slow motion. So here we have uh, the trailer lifted by the axle, just the rear axle, and it's floating off of this block. So this is basically a simulation of having just the trailer weight on only the rear axle as though it had the front uh, axle had dropped off a curb or something like that. So now we want to see what will happen when we reload the uh, front axle. So there you saw what happened when I took up the slack on, on this strap and raised the front axle. And you can see the, uh, this pivot is pivoting and the shackles are in, ending up back where you want. Uh, so eventually if I keep raising it, then it'll be nicely aligned. So this video is basically just a quick expose on what can happen with this double eye leaf spring setup. And it shows that probably you don't want to go fast enough to bounce all four wheels into the air at the same time. Uh, this could happen if you just bounce one side, both, both wheels into the air at the same time. When the trailer is fully loaded, you probably don't have much to worry about. Uh, this issue will most likely happen when the trailer is lightly loaded, like when you don't have a boat on it. Uh, but overall, what you want to do is not bounce all four wheels in the air at the same time. If you do intend to do that, then you probably want to carry a couple of floor jacks to make sure you get things back in the right place. And you probably don't want to use bottle jacks and uh, crowbars and things like that because when things do pop back in the, in the right place, uh, they can move pretty fast and with a lot of force and then you'll have bottle jacks and crowbars flying all over the place and smacking you in the head. It's a dildo. <laughs> 